And so, just letting you know, this is Cameron Cornish speaking through us. So we're channeling his spirit. Is there any foul speech. language? His we it's very foul language. Yes. Oh, <laughs> continual, just vile. Yeah, Children should be it. listening. All right. <laughs> My ears are closed. Then. <laughs> <laughs> it is with deep sadness that I'm unable to be present at Trevor's wedding. When I had moved abroad to live in Japan, I understood that I would risk missing important events in the lives of those I care for in the United States. However, I did not anticipate a pandemic forcing me to stay in Japan without compromise of returning for two whole years. Free if you count 2022. <laughs> I did everything I could to come out, but due to bad timing, financial strain, and the never-ending pandemic, Japan's ridiculous quarantine rules, <laughs> Murphy's Law, Jesus. and just plain bad luck, I'm not with you all today. In Japan, there is a common word people use that encapsulates my circumstances perfectly. Here Cameron expects me to know how to read Japanese, but we'll, we'll, do, we'll give it my best. <laughs> that word is shogunai, which translates roughly to it can't be had. I want to stress to everyone that I did not choose to be absent. Exactly. <laughs> My circumstances chose absence for me, but they will not hinder me from having a few words to say about Trevor. And boy, do I have a lot to say. best friends since we met at Shattuck St. Mary's around, about 12 years ago. The bond that forged our friendship stemmed from a shared love of music that gradually expanded to encompass other hobbies we still share to this day. The first thing that stood out to me about Trevor was his weird but nevertheless impressive ability to handwrite sheet music for the songs that he came up with on his own. <laughs> Trevor would regularly approach me at least once or twice a month with handfuls of sheet music covered with an impressive amount of penciled in musical notes. And a true Bill and Ted fashion would say, dude, you gotta check this out. <laughs> to which I regularly responded with, I cannot understand to read this, but I'm happy you're happy. <laughs> Look, I'm a guitar player and we can't be bothered to learn other forms of music when tablature is so intuitive for us. <laughs> but regardless of my choice of instrument, who still handwrites sheet music anyway? Did he write them by candlelight too? Were there long logs to keep him, uh, well, were there enough logs to keep him in, warm in the winter? Hear <laughs> me, I hope so. That's definitely Cameron. <laughs> what a pompous nerd, he says. <laughs> but, but as, much, as much as I sometimes am humored by his obscure talents, I also remember how they once got into the trouble. During our first year at Luther College, a professor had wrongly accused Trevor of plagiarizing a section from a Mozart song for a class assignment. The professor called him into her office and lectured him about the severity of the situation. Trevor is many things, but dishonest is not one of them. <laughs> Trevor stood his ground, defended his assignment, and ultimately the professor dropped her case against him. And I know he, would take, he takes that accusation as a compliment. As he damn well should. <laughs> because not many people, let alone undergrads, are compared to timeless musicians by those who profess themselves to be an authority on music. <laughs> but, on the topic of music, it seems that it is more than just simple vibration floating through the air. That interpretation of what constitutes music is simply too shallow and literal for it to have any value or meaning. If I had to define music, I would say it is a universal language that has been understood and appreciated by every human, both alive and dead. Mm -hmm. When there is a great swell of music, the hairs on our arms stand on end. Mm -hmm. When dissonance is struck on a piano, our faces contort into disgust, unless you are into that sort of thing. <laughs> when music is soft, we relax. When it's energetic, we dance. When it's sad, we cry. And when it's happy, we smile. Music is one of many facets that we use to show individual human experiences. And so, it is no surprise that something as intense and commanding as love has been the subject of so many ballads, operas, albums, greatest hits, top 40s playlists, and one hit wonders. <laughs> oh, Get no, in. <laughs> he wrote two paragraphs for me. Uh, even though I could have just never mind. <laughs> Trevor and Amy. When you merge the songs of your individual lives into one ultimate tune, 
make sure it is a good one. When one of you acts as the treble clef, be sure that the other is the supporting bass clef. When life hits you with oh. Aeolian minors, oh, remember that the path back to Ionian majors will always be just a few notes away. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> make a song, oh, so <laughs> make a song full of crescendos that build in all the right ways, but be comfortable when the decrescendos sway you into calm uneventfulness. Mm. If oh. and when more instruments come into your orchestra, be sure to show them how to play and when to play so that they too can make songs of their own in time. Wink, wink. <laughs> Let your song be an anthem for others to celebrate and aspire to. Wink, wink. wink. <laughs> make it as beautiful as possible so you can one day look back in the future and be proud of all the penciled in notes you have written together. Oh, Maybe so then. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. then, when Trevor next approaches me with a handful of shit music and says, oh, dude, language. <laughs> Beep. 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 and says, dude, check this out, I will smile and say to him, I still cannot read this, but I, but I love that you have been so loved. This is when the this is where the toast happens. So I guess yes. we need to oh, so we'll do a toast. Oh, there is more, geez. but just it's a brief. <laughs> this is the last brief little bit. <laughs> You're doing wonderful, Cameron. Jeez, <laughs> and he's not even uh, here. Exactly. <laughs> All right. I now ask that you raise your glasses in the happy couple's honor. Um, and Jerry, this is where we can play the song whenever you feel right. Okay. There is a song called Los Angeles by a band called The Midnights. The song title is fitting, given that Trevor is a Los Angeles native. <laughs> it, in that song, there's a, li a lyric that perfectly embodies this evening that is, at long last, the end to their arduous and challenging journey towards marriage. The lyric and the toast of the evening is, if we live forever, let us live forever tonight. All Cheers right. and salute Cheers. to Trevor and Amy. And Cameron's speech. Oh. And Cameron's speech. Oh. Oh. Good. Yeah. We hope so. <laughs>